Hey everyone, welcome to this next video. In this video, we're going to explore some of the failure scenarios and see how we can add them into our model. Enjoy. Okay, so we created a, a new frame where we cleaned up some of the things so we can look into yeah, these specific, well, calling them failure scenarios. Uh, maybe it's not really a fa failure, but it's not the most happy part. Uh, either um, so I so I said eh, well it's it's going to be a lot easier if the station can propose um, a different bike uh, if the if the station knows that and we're on the station and it needs to propose a new bike well that's going to be easier on the other hand if the rider already picked up the bike and and then they say there's something wrong in the app they're going to try to pick a different bike so in that case it's it, maybe it's not that useful that the station knows yep. about it yet so how do we how do we proceed here uh so the station yeah it cannot unlock a bike um th there are actually two things yeah there are two failure modes it cannot unlock it and it knows that it cannot unlock or it unlocks it it doesn't actually un uh, so it doesn't actually work but the station also doesn't know so the station thinks the unlocking went well um, but because of some mechanical reason this the the lock didn't actually open so we have multiple failure scenarios here uh, let, let's first look in the station tries to unlock and it doesn't work um, who do we communicate to uh, I, I guess I back, the right. yeah back to the yeah. right yeah back to the right so um, uh, so I'm going to move um, some bits so and i'm going to uh, uh visualize like this uh, this is the arrow is the same as having s such kind of overlap it really means ride is listening to this event okay mm -hmm. and then yeah the first thing the ride needs to do it's need to check like we said is there another bike available at the station um Wait, I'm bringing something over. Yeah. Because this reminds me of. Yes, bike, bike availability. availability. Correct. So that means it's actually going to uh, do a query. A lot of things need to happen here to do it correctly. So uh, one is we 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 are going to actually send over a query. Um, is there a bike available at station X? Now, um, one thing we need to take into account is that the bike that we just had, we haven't marked that yet as you should not uh, allow, you should not use this anymore. Hey, I, I guess Ooh. we, so, hey, we, we had a yep. bike, we could not unlock it. So that means the lock is broken. So we probably want to send someone over from maintenance to fix that. That also means mm -hmm. that bike, we cannot just cancel the reservation because that would make the bike available again, but it's not actually available. Okay, so we need to mark it uh, as, yeah, it's not there anymore. But also we probably don't just want to have it uh, like, hey, we, we probably don't want to say that it's still reserved. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. We, and it also ties a bit into the bike selected of uh, by, bike selection yes. of the station. Yeah. Which right now starts to make less and less sense to me, Thomas. Yeah. Because that bike availability 
<laughs> like, oof. They're, they're, they're do, yeah, yeah, they're doing the same thing, eh? uh, or, or yeah. close to the same thing. So let, let's first maybe just write down what needs to happen here. Eh? So um, yeah. I would say the bike needs to uh, be unselected, uh, but needs to be marked as not available no. for technical reasons. And we need to notify maintenance that there is an issue at the station. No. Let me zoom in a little bit that people can read. Uh, that those are the things that, uh, well, that definitely need to happen. And then uh, next to that, we also need to try to find a new bike. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Um, so I think we, we can we can actually we 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 can ignore some of these things. Um, like this one, notify. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we can ignore, but and but also the bike needs to be unselected. Like I, what I mean, we can ignore them. Is we don't need to do them yet. Um, because right now the bike that we have is still selected so no one can pick mm -hmm. it in the current design nothing can go wrong uh, we, we don't notify anyone so it's never going to get fixed but right now we're also not introducing uh well, mistakes um yep so i'm actually thinking instead of asking is there a bike available we can just do the same way. We can try to reserve a bike. And if there is a, uh, and if we reserve one, well, we continue. Yeah. Yeah. So let me copy it. Move that. Okay, so we try to reserve a bike. Um, a bike must be available um, then we say yeah if it works at this time we're going to propose, propose that bike, bike eh? yeah. and um, yeah so that's here um, and and then propose that bike means we propose it to the rider and if they yeah, what happens next is they accept your bike they, mm -hmm. they need to do that in the app by the way uh, because yeah the only functionality the station has is the qr code um, yeah maybe you want to expand on that in the in the future but let's now assume that the only thing the station can do is and display qr code so all the other interactions happen through the app uh, so okay. we pro we propose uh, the bike the rider clicks on okay i'm accepting it and then my assumption is now we should immediately try to unlock that new bike we know the rider is at that station because they already proven that there are there it for me it yep. doesn't really make sense that we would need to scan the qr code again agreed it would be very user unfriendly or rider yeah. unfriendly yeah um so we say okay and then we unlock and the green light flickers so then it's basically uh i think it's it should basically be uh this part again yeah so we yeah we select that we unlock the bike and we're in here and then yeah then we're then we're at the same point eh? if it yeah. now fails we, we we go back there so just let's have a look to see if this all makes sense so and we had a technical failure uh, the station cannot unlock the bike and we listen to that soon as we listen uh, we try to reserve one if that works we propose it 
if they say they accept the new bike so that's a different flow than just starting right if they yeah. accept the new bike we select the bike from that station um, yeah. we selected it and we unlock it the only thing i'm a bit so, so something that tickles my my brain yet or not yet but right now is that we say like propose that bike except the new bike while we said very much a bike yeah. and bike availability yet somehow when it comes out of bike bike availability for sort of the new bike it's like you know it, it we sort of talk about a specific bike all of a sudden yeah you're, intentionally you're right. or unintentionally yeah yeah so we propose a different bike just um i'm even wondering do we need to have that full do we need that interaction with, with this do, do they need to accept like from a user perspective also feels weird like, what what if hey okay, so ah uh, yeah that didn't work and the station and the app just says yeah you need to pick a different number no yeah it should be hidden right yeah because like if it unlocks then that green light starts to flicker and yeah. seeing how you know yeah so you're completely right so in that case we basically do this we then say to bike selection uh, which may or may not make sense uh, yeah select a bike we unlock it and then uh, in the best case the drive the rider didn't even notice no. okay Exactly. And you could say that after three failures of unlocking a bike. Yeah, then we like probably something. yeah, then we probably yeah. want to take that um, station offline or something. We definitely want some <laughs> to send someone over uh, really quickly. Um, so, okay, that that's one thing. What if the bike was not? Uh, so we tried to reserve a bike, but it failed. That means there are no bikes available at that station. In that case, we yeah. do need to go um, back to the uh, rider, and we said, um, "Yeah, ride was cancelled." I think we said the ride was cancelled by us. Nothing was charged, and we proposed to start. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we also need to model this, of course. So, yeah. I'll, I'll, um, yeah so the only piece to do is we, uh, sorry if i'm going into too much detail but bike was not reserved by station the first time and the second time were two different things yes. because ride needs to be able to make that distinction because in the first time no ride has been started so basically that uh, has to respond to it differently and here a, a ride needs to be cancelled so yep. we need to make the distinction between is this a retry or is it actually just the same? I, I agree, but I don't think that's a responsibility of bike availability. Um, it's yeah. a responsibility of bike. So what I'm thinking is that when you uh, reserve a bike, you're also going to pass in some ID and that um, and that's an ID you need to get back so that you can connect your request yeah. of reservation um, onto um, the response. But um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's valid. Yeah, uh, it's definitely something that's necessary. But if we think about, if we would were to implement this with uh, an API call where we get a response back, we would not even think about this because yeah, you just say reserve a bike and you get it back. And then as a right, you can decide if it's going to be asynchronously done with messages well then we need to of course be able to keep track um, of it but um, for me it doesn't feel like like i would not it's not bike availability that needs to know that this is a retry bike availability the only responsibility so far is really about hey reserve a bike at that station yeah, no, no, it would because if you would look at it, like if you look at the two different things we modeled now, um, yeah. like the fact that, you know, 
somehow this is a, a bit different um, yep. isn't clear. I wanted just to make that explicit. Yeah, so we can we can make it res um, uh, explicit by adding a constraint in here. Is yep. this a retry uh, after unlock failure? Then we say ride was cancelled by us. Um, we also emit nothing was charged, but then we need to also start the proposal of the new ride. So to do that, I think we need to query, um, hey, what is the nearest stations with, uh, like, uh, show nearest stations with um, availability. Or maybe get nearest stations with availability. And then we propose, yeah, that at uh, one of the found stations yeah we, we also we we have even an other case um no. it's possible that we don't find any near stations with availability i'm going to rephrase that yeah because we said cheapest yeah we offered it are we uh, yeah good question um like, are we just going to offer the, really the nearest and then just say whatever the cheapest price is? Yeah, I think we should do that. So, yeah. well, we, we could we could show them, uh, we could show them different. We could show, hey, we have three options here and the, the first one is the same price as you have right now. Uh, the second one is actually cheaper and the third one also has the same price, for example. Yeah. Um, so the only thing I, I as domain expert I don't want I, I don't want to offer them higher prices um, and if they're actually cheaper I think we should offer the cheapest uh, prices otherwise if they later find out like yeah but if I just cancelled here eh, I said I don't want to continue anymore and they cancel and then they look at the map and they see the station that we just offered for a lower price that people are not going to be happy with that Okay, um, but so um, so get the nearest stations with availability. Propose to start a ride at one of the phone stations. Um, I, I do think we also uh, need to query what is the rate. Uh, but here I'm I'm mm -hmm. going to. I think we should have split it up at the beginning as well into two different queries because yeah. station availability and the rate per minute for a station those are two different things. Uh, so I, I'm going to uh, get the rates per minute for the uh, found stations. Um, and so propose to start a ride at one of the uh, with minimum of current price and new price. No, rate, sorry. With minimum of current rate and new rate. Yes. Okay. Um, I know this is, uh, yeah, this I should model. Yeah, I, I have to model it differently. Yeah? I need to say, where is this going? So I'll, I'll also make it question mark, question mark. Um, introduce and I'll duplicate it. Make this long. Then, yeah, the answer goes to uh, right, of course. Right then sends another query. Um, we then get response back. Just going to give this also a different color. Um, and then we can now propose. Um, Okay. 
and and this one we could already like if we want to give it a name this is probably rate um rate calculation or mm -hmm. something um yeah. it's not the final name but i think it, it's yeah it's going to be something in that direction um and this one if you look at it it's it's not the same as bike availability, but it's at least related to both bike availability and bike selection of a station. Eh? Yeah. We now have three different things that all are about, yeah, give me availability. And I think they at least, yeah, we, we need to do something with that at some point. Yeah, no, I agree. Okay. It doesn't make uh, all that much sense right now. Yeah. Okay, so I guess then, it's it's the continuing with the proposal yeah? um, so propose means we show it to them and they can either accept or decline um, there is one other thing of course if they accept we also need to mention that the time only starts when they actually reach the station or something yeah? we cannot yeah. yeah we cannot say oh yeah but uh, you also need to pay for the time that you're walking. That's that's not um, that wouldn't be great. Yeah. All right. So at this point, um, we explored some some failure scenarios on you know what if if things go wrong um, with the bike at the station. Um, we also noticed that our bounded contexts right now are not entirely clear. Like we have a few that are very seem very related um, to one another and, and we're not sure how yet. Um, so we'll have to sort of um, reach the end to get a better understanding um, of what exactly goes on in this bounded context. And after that, um, we can actually uh, align and dig deeper into finding uh, scenarios uh, specifically to see how we could model this a single uh, bounded context.